Learning to code can seem very hard. You might think that you're spinning your wheels and you're not getting anywhere. You've watched videos, taken courses, built the projects that you were told to build, and it's just not clicking. I have the solution for you. Did I just describe exactly where you're at right now? I was there too. Some people refer to that as tutorial hell. The common issue where you can code along with a course or a video and you can build the project application, but you're just following along step by step and copying the code. You don't quite understand how it's all working. And if you try to build something on your own, your mind is blank and you just have no idea where to start. Let's talk about a few ways that you can solve this issue and really start to learn, comprehend and understand how to code. If you're watching tutorial video after tutorial video and you're getting bored of the videos or it's just not clicking, try another learning format. Try reading a blog article on the subject uh, that you're having a hard time understanding. Read multiple articles. Every writer has their own style and maybe one will explain it in a way that resonates with you. Or try reading a book on the subject. Just try something other than a video. If you're having a hard time understanding a particular concept, Many times the documentation is the best resource, so don't be scared uh, to looking at the docs for the technology that you're learning. If you're learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, look at the MDN docs. They are the source of truth. Sometimes a video, actually many times a video can be outdated, but the docs will always be the most accurate. So reference the docs. And there are tons of other free resources for learning. One of my favorite is freecodecamp.org. Uh, so give that a try if videos are burning you out. Podcasts can also give you a different perspective on things. It's interesting to hear what other developers have to say about different technologies. You get to hear some of the lingo and get a better uh, insight into what it's like to be a developer. You may not learn exactly uh, how to code by listening to a podcast, uh, but you're going to learn what it's like to code, how certain technologies fit together or other best practices. One of my favorite uh, podcasts is Syntax FM. I have no affiliation with them, but there's a link in the description. And the point is just try to learn uh, by using different formats, different platforms. Each one will help you to understand things differently. Now, it doesn't matter what language you're trying to learn. It can be front end, back end, mobile, crypto, whatever. The first thing that you have to realize is that you'll never know everything. So don't try to learn it all. Don't think that one day when you totally understand it all, then you'll finally know how to code. Even the most senior developer has to rely on tools and resources to get the job done. And the main resource is Google. The biggest skill that any developer can have is problem solving skills, and because that's all you do. And that's what a developer does. How do you use code to solve a problem? How do you figure out what code you need to use to solve this problem? So you have to be resourceful. You have to be inquisitive and you have to find the answers. And most of the time, that's Google. Sometimes Stack Overflow, sometimes Twitter, sometimes another developer uh, that you know. And also don't be scared to reach out when you can't figure it out on your own. And that brings us to the next piece of advice, find a community. It can be virtual like Twitter, Discord, forums, or right here in the YouTube comments. Or it can be in person like local meetups or conferences. Networking is vital to your learning journey and your career. You never know when you'll meet someone that has a, a great way of explaining a concept that you didn't understand, or they have an example that just makes it click. But you wouldn't have seen that if you weren't at that in-person event or following that person uh, when they tweeted about it. And you also never know when you'll meet someone who is hiring or knows someone who's hiring. They get to know you and maybe they recommend you, or maybe even down the road a position opens up and you're the first person that they think of because you had that interaction with them. So you never know uh, what can result from being a part of a community. Another good thing about communities is accountability. If you're learning in public and tweeting about what you're learning and being vocal about your progress, that can motivate you to keep going because you don't want it to look like you've stopped. And it gives visibility to others who might be looking for your talent. Another great way to better understand code might sound silly, but read code. Go to GitHub and find a project that you're interested in. Look at the code base. Try to understand how it's written. Try not to get overwhelmed by all of it, but start at the beginning. So if it's a web app, 
Start with the package.json file and see what dependencies this app has. And then move on to the index file and see how it's structured and then move through the app from there. It's good to see how other developers write code and then try to figure out how it works. When you start a new job, you'll be thrown into the middle of an existing code base most likely, and you're gonna have to figure out how it all works. Now, usually you'll have some sort of walkthrough, but a lot of times it's still gonna take you a while to figure it all out, and that's normal. Now, along those same lines, another great way to learn to code is by contributing to open source projects. You just read through the code base of a project, and let's say you realize that there is a feature that you could help to implement, do it. Or maybe there's an issue in that repo that you could help to fix, do it. Now, something to keep in mind, there are so many technologies and languages out there. It, it seems like there's a new fresh framework coming out every day. So don't get caught up in the hype, learn a technology that's in demand and stick to it. It's okay to specialize in something to get really good at it. Now, I'm not saying that you can't learn other things here and there, but only if you have time and only if it's not going to distract you from your main learning goal. Now, here's the main piece of advice that I have for you. After all of the tutorials, courses, articles, podcasts, YouTube, in the end, you need to build something on your own. Building something from start to finish without a step-by-step -step guide is how you're truly going to learn. As you're building, you're gonna be forced to figure things out. You'll have to Google to remember how to do things, and that's okay, that's part of the process. It's like learning another spoken language. You can use Duolingo all day, you can learn all of the words, but until you actually practice with another person, you'll never really know how to speak another language. You have to put your knowledge into practice. So here's an idea. Take that to-do app that you learned from Traversy Media and the UI skills that you learned from Adrian Torg and that user authentication tutorial you watched from James Q. Quick and the database video that you watched from me and combine all of those things into one big Megatron application that's uniquely yours. And then think about some other app ideas. Now here's a list of some that can get you started. Maybe they'll spark an idea for you. How about an RGB generator? You could make that with just a few lines of JavaScript. That would be a very simple application. Maybe a tip calculator, um, but not just a calculator that calculates 10, 15, 20%. Something that let's say you have five people at the table and you wanna split the tip five ways. Add some extra features to the calculator. Or maybe a weather app. Weather apps are great to teach you how to interact with an API. Something that you're going to need in the future is a portfolio. So maybe build a portfolio website. And of course, everyone builds a to-do app. They're a great way to learn key concepts, uh, but maybe make it unique. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a workout tracker or a habit tracker or something uh, along the same lines, but put your own spin on it. Another idea is a tic-tac-toe game. That will really take your JavaScript to the next level. And then if you want something more advanced, maybe a social platform like a Twitter clone, that is gonna require full stack application. But the best ideas come from solving issues that you personally face. So think about last time you used an application or a website and you just thought, man, I wish it could do this or that, make it. So in the end, the best way to learn to code is to build, 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 and then build some more. No matter where you're at in your journey, you can do it. Never give up and never stop learning.